everybody you know as the entire world i have been obsessed with animal crossing um since i was a kid and i was so excited when they announced the game coming out and you know i've been dying to do like hunting videos and everything but you know a broke ass like myself can't afford a capture card so you know this is the next big thing we're going ratchet af with you know filming my screen you see but um it still looks kind of good you know so we're gonna do this this is my five star island uh tour uh so yeah let's get right to it okay so here's my airport area and as you can see we got gale in the background it's raining at the moment it is not currently june 23 june 23rd um it is like june 22nd like 12 8 12 midnight but like you know i like how the island looks at the daytime so you know i time traveled no hate no hate over here but um so yeah this is my little island my island's name is hogwarts as you can see we have a hogwarts uh flag um this is my little map my map is very bad um yes i you know it is what it is. These are my current villagers. We have Chief, Marina, Blair, Mabel, Bianca, Gail, Tipper, Raymond, Sherb, and Cookie. Funny thing about Raymond, um, I got him with just one ticket and I wasn't even looking for him and now I love him. Um, Tipper, Mabel, and Blair are going to leave soon um, and they will be replaced by Gala, Diana, and I forget the name. And meringue. Oh my god, I forget about meringue. But meringue. Okay, so um, here we have our entrance. We have our little uh, Gail and Cookie talking over here. So cute. I love them both. Um, here we have a ton, a ton of Lily of the Valleys because I have been time skipping a lot to get villagers to move out. And I time skip, skip to get sure via the campsite method and. Um, that took forever <laughs> so here we have like our little entrance i love this pathing path that i did down here um and these are all customs designs um here we have a huge big teddy bear right there that i love i love how this side of the entrance looks this the right side is kind of you know my flower dump dumping ground um, it will not stay like this. I just have them there for the moment. Oh, you want to talk to me? Hold on a second. Let's see. Oh, thank you, Prezies. Great. Thank you. You're so cute, Cookie. Okay. So here we have, you know, some little benches and cherry blossom viewing lanterns. Okay, great. We go up here and we have our little plaza area. I surrounded the plaza also with these um, purple mums and pink cosmos. Here we go down here and we have like a little a bear picnic area ground with waterfalls and everything. I really like this. Um, this is one of the first things that I decorated on my island. Um, oh, we have Gulliver today. Hey buddies. Okay, let's, let's let you sleep for a little bit. We go over here, of course it's my 5 star island, I forgot to mention, and it is not nearly done. As you can see, there's a lot of empty space and I want it to be packed, but um, at the moment this is my update and I love it. Um, and I'm trying like daily to do, I'm not trying to rush it, like my decorating. Here's a little like a little seating area hidden over here. Here we have our silo, oh you can't see it very well, let's, let's back up a little bit. Our silo over here um some little chairs a tiny library i really like this little area it was the last thing that it decorated recently um over here we have you know just a simple plain beach we don't have anything on this side um here we have a nook's cranny and a little diner area that i saw in somebody else's island tour and i loved it so i want to do the same of course everything is pink on my island mostly everything is pink so yeah we have Nook's Cranny, we have a little diner area, here um, in the back we have a, some little bicycles, some street organs, and then we go up here, and I also love this area up here, it's like a plaza eating area, and then we have our um, 
stage for the musical instruments and everything so yeah it looks so super cool over here um, and next on the other side of the plaza we have hey there's baby sherb i love you i love you yes okay so over here on the, we have um i forgot able sisters oh my god we have able sisters and here we have a little dachshund pet bed which i have two dachshunds and i love them um able sisters is not completely decorated i don't know what to do i i know that i want to do like a plaza area here so maybe the fountain will stay and i want to like display a lot of custom dresses not mine that i have uh, found on internet on internet and everything so yes able sisters is not completely done at the moment but um i still like it Tipper's looking at me. Hey, Tipper! Up here, we have like a little, um, I don't know, corner that I had some spare room. So I just placed two bears, you know, in the little nook area. Here we have a bench. Um, and then here we have our rock garden that I also time traveled a lot. And it was a pain in the rear to do, but I love it. Um, we have the, I don't know if you guys can see them, but they're there. Yes, the guard, lion guard, dog, animals that I find so awesome. And then here we have our little zen garden that I didn't want to do a zen garden, but my boyfriend was like, oh, zen gardens are so cool. You should make one. So, you know, I try to make one with most of the rock DIYs that you can get. Um, then let's go over here. Wait, let's uh, let's go back over here. Okay, so here we have you know a little just a, a kimono and getting in with the theme of the Zen garden. Um, all this space down here is empty space that I do not know what I'm going to do with it yet. Um, I'm trying to do. I'm trying to leave this space empty, like this space here besides Able Sisters, because if we get a new shop, I want it. I want to put it, you know, directly um, beside it. So I want to keep this area empty for the moment. Um, over here was also again one of the first things that I built. It's like a little hidden garden with white flowers and the little cherry blossom picnic set, and it looks so cute when it when it had like the pink tree trees. But you know. The trees are no longer there. The pink trees are no longer in season. Okay, so over here we have a little pathing. You know, simple, cute. And you know, don't mind the tree branches on the floor. I just, I just, you know, opened the day. So here's my little uh, uh, carnival area place that I love. And I have paid a lot for to get all the pink items like the pink vending machine and the pink cotton candy and all the little um ice cream cone lamps that i love so yes um it feels kind of bland to me and bare but i don't know what else to add so you guys can comment down below and tell me what else i can add here I and mean, here we have another another um bridge that goes up we have a balloon hold on a second a girl needs her balloons you know thank you so we have a little bridge that connects to the blank space we have here. Um, here we have our little pool area. I have a little like a kitty's pool, a big people pool, some elephant slides. I really like this. And then the the pattern is like a sprinkle glitter pattern on the floor. And then we go down here. We have like a little beach uh, picnic area with some coconut juices and some like milkshakes you know for the whole family to enjoy um yes and then also this is very empty here is my bamboo area that i also love it was um also one of the first things that i built um that's why it's like so little but it has like mostly all the bamboo items i'm still missing the bamboo partitioning i am dying to get the bamboo partition um, and then we go up here, and here is my little campsite, which I am planning to change. And then we go over here, and it's also one of my favorite areas. Looks so, it just looks so cute and um, natural. It's like another um, beach area here. And yes, we have a little changing room. Oh, um, oh. Uh, surfboard my god I forgot okay so here's a white blank area that I had I had originally had my orchard in this area but 
um i don't really use an orchard i just had it for show so i'm like why would i have an orchard i'm just planning on scattering the fruit trees everywhere um, and then let's go over here real quickly. Okay, so here is the entrance to my museum, which I love. Let's pick up these weeds. Okay, here's the entrance to my museum. We have an iguanodon up in front because, you know, uh, dinosaurs, the movie. We love iguanodons. Um, some little street lambs, golden roses. And then we go over here. We have some little um, fossils on the ground. Yes, and then outside we have, here's going to be like a bug area. We have some models that I've been collecting. So this is the bug area. This will be the fish area. And then here in the back will be the art area, which I have gotten all these fake pieces of art, except from the Mona Lisa, the date that this, no, not the David. I forget his name, I think it's a David. This little dude, and then this thing, um, my, villagers gave them to me and i'm like why are they giving me fake pieces of art so you know they bought them for me so i'm gonna display them here and then here is the little reds uh beach where he comes i still have to decorate that part oh and we have um that one up there i think it's also fake and then oh i forgot to show this here in the background we have i mean yeah at the top we have a t-rex that it's not kind of visible but i know it's there so yeah, you know, cliche, a T-Rex, but can you blame me? It looks majestic. And then over here, um, my cousin loves my little cafe area. Every time she comes visits, she just sits here. And I'm like, where are you? And she's like, oh, I'm just sitting at the cafe. So this is my little cafe um, at the beach. I also love it. So yeah, all this here is just plain and um, not finished. Um, so yeah. And then over here, you know, this is going very quickly. Um, over here is like a Gulliver's treasure um, corner. We have a pyramid. We have a golden lucky cat, the South Pole, um, the Tower of Pisa. I originally had my first Gulliver item was the hedge, but my cousin wanted it and she had the Tower of Pisa. And I was like, sure, you can, you, we can trade. And then here we have, I, I need to build like a fence to divide these two off. Here we have like a little celestial viewing area. So, you know, we can come up here and wish on stars and everything with all the celestial items. I can make more, but I don't think they fit in here. Um, and then over here we have like a little lighthouse up there. So yes, I also like this little nook that I have. Okay, so right beside that is like my hall, the hallway to my house. My house is not decorated very well. I will not be showing that because it is not pretty. <laughs> um, so here we have like a little, these flowers, I'm trying to braid them. And also these flowers are like my main, the ones that I'm trying to braid to get like the blue roses, the green mums, the ones that I haven't gotten yet. And you know, to just to multiply the ones I like, like pink roses, I have not gotten many pink roses. Um, also, these are breeding and these are also breeding. Um, yes, so let's go up here. Let's go to the second level first. So here we have like our little housing area and I decorated each like little garden patio based on how the house looked. So here's Marina's house and you know, everything pink. Super cute and because she's an octopus, you know, we got that. Um, ocean theme with the summer wreath and everything here is blair's i really like it it's just so natural and um you know warm so here's blair's and then we have maples which i find so cute and maple obviously has a little honey hive bee thing because she's maple and her catchphrase is honey so yes, we have a maple there. Here is Chief. Chief has a little Slytherin door plate because I believe Chief is a Slyther Slytherin, but he's just such a cutie. Um, and yeah, I love, I also love Chief's um, area because it's kind of simple and just works well with um, his house. Here's Raymond's house, which um, yes, it, it matches perfectly with his house, let's see. He's inside. Let's just say hi to Raymond because, you know, everybody loves Raymond. No, that makes perfect sense. So here's baby Raymond. Hey, buddies. 
Yes, here he is. I got him with one ticket, you guys. I still cannot believe it. Okay, great. Raymond's house. Not the cutest, but he's a he's a business cat, you know? He gets his business house. And then the last one over here is Bianca's house. I love Bianca. She's not a popular villager or anything, but I love her because my favorite animals are are tigers and she's like a she's technically a tiger but she's looks like a snow leopard and i love it and she's just so cute i just love her look at her look at that little cute ass face oh my god and my boyfriend was like she looks kind of weird and it's true i think she looks weird because her head is too big but i still love her look at her she should be snooty. She looks like snooty, but um, she she's peppy. She also obviously she wants to be a pop star and rule the island. But no, I'm the pop star princess of this island, Peppy. I mean Bianca. I'm sorry. Okay, so here and between every house, I have this little drain that um I love <laughs> because it's pink. Everything's pink in, in my house. So here we have like a little pond because I don't have ponds and I need you know to fish in the ponds um down here we have this is cookie's little um house um so this was originally decorated when i had a pinky but pinky's house was completely pink and then cookie moved in and i was like it fits because it's still pink so i left it that way here we have like a little miniature lavender field garden that i find so cute um Here's Tipper's house, which I find so aesthetically pleasing because the rat, the white rat and the furniture fits so well with her house and yeah, I love how it looks. And then here's Sherb's little house. We have Sherb has a little um, inflatable sofa because of course he's lazy. He likes to take he likes to take his naps, you know. And then finally, here is Gail's um, uh, patio area thing. <laughs> and then here we have like a little music uh, area with like everything white. I'm still trying to get the white harp. Haven't found it yet. So yeah, I want to get the white harp. And then going down here, you know, we have we're finished with this island tour already. Um, and then going down here, we have our little wrestling, not wrestling, but like uh, sports exercise beach. Oh my God, that, that took too long to figure it out. So yes, it's um, newly expanded because it was just like a little corner and like I took this whole side for it. Um, we have a KK rock ability, no, KK metal, KK metal playing here because you know, you have to have hard metal to work out. We have some um, equipment here and then we have hidden the little wrestling rink over here and then some more items back there. It's kind of stuffed but I like the look of how you know you can barely walk between the items. So yes. And then finally we go down here and this is my most recent, no not my most recent but like my pride and joy, my little outdoor library. I'm still getting more books to build the final shelf that I need um, and then up here we have like a little space shuttle which ah, is so cute that it fits up there and it's like flying so yes this is my outdoor library I love it here we have you know let's name him let's name him Bob we have Bob over here <laughs> and I love when I see villagers just walking up these stairs and when they're walking up these other stairs so yeah um, that did not took as long as I thought. I mean, it did took like 20 minutes, but that's my island, you guys. And um, if you guys like, uh, if you don't mind how it looks of me filming it this way, I really want to plan and film more uh, villager huntings. I have, as you can see, I have three more villagers that I need to find. Um, and let's see, I have a lot of nook miles. I have uh 2600 268,000 miles um that i have accumulated because i haven't uh, gotten tickets 
you know, I did like a little catalog event and I got hundreds of tickets there and I'm just like wasting them. So yeah, guys, that is my island. I hope you guys loved it. Um, I really love it and I'm trying to take it slow because I'm trying to enjoy and like I'm not very creative. I don't have like extreme terraforming uh, areas. I just have, I like them. I like the plain areas, like the wide plain areas. Um, so yeah, that's everything you guys. And then um, I will definitely be up um, posting. Oh, we have a shark over there. I will definitely be post, damn it. Why? will definitely be posting an update when I think, you know, I've done enough change to it so that it could be, you know, um, good for you guys. Let's see. Great. We got that. So yes, thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I know I did. I've been dying to like showcase my island and I've been dying to get, um, you know, the the capture card but it's just so difficult at this moment and you know i just want to show oh we have a little hair on the screen i'm sorry my dogs are everywhere but like, i've been dying to showcase my island and i'm i'm I, I love it so yes um that's it you guys let's just head back to you know ignore my flower garden dumping grounds oh i saw somebody that had like a little flower field um color coordinated and i was like that looks so cool i may do that here because you know the flowers have overtaken this area so i may be doing that oh we have another balloon let's just end off with me popping this balloon as a symbol of the video coming to an end no oh, oh, no there we go perfect so yeah guys there you have it that's my little island tour um i hope you guys loved it I love my island. I love this game so much. It, um, I only played um, Wild World when I was a kid. Uh, so yeah, this is like a big step, like a big upgrade for me. So thanks you guys for watching. Um, hope to see you soon and yeah, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye guys. Let's see if we can wave over here. We have a little wave, I think. Uh, I can't find it. Oh, here we go. Bye, guys. <laughs>